Simple ano lang. Kumaga tabletop duel. <laughs> tabletop style duel lang yung uh, sila Luke at si Yuga. So labasan ng ano. Then all of a sudden nagkaroon ng advantage si Yuga. But as he was about to to deliver his winning battle face, pinalabas niya si Si um si si Luke. Ngayon eh, nagtataka si Luke bakit? Merong before that, may binigay sa kanyang card si Yuga. At first, it was um it was Yuga's ID card. It tapos unti-unti naging Seven Road Magician. So, well, this means only one thing. Yuga will now go to extremes just to beat Otis. Nagmakaawa na lang si Luke na wag nang ituloy ito ni Yuga. And, ayun na, uh, nagharap sila ni Otis ulit. Na, well, alam na ni Otis kung ano ang takbo ng utak ni Yuga. I, Otis said it right here. You don't have your you don't have your ID card? Well, no matter what you do, global, will, global communications will, uh, will be on probably seconds from now. It'll still be my win. So, ang ginawa ni Yuga, he encased both the Otis and rushed the World Robos into hyperspace. Where, theoretically, time stands still. He found a way to beat Otis. But, at, but pero, at, probably at the cost of his very own life. So, as there, as Otis's life points went down, Yuga suddenly, dis suddenly disappears. And, well, all of a sudden, it's now two years later. So, everyone has grown up. All of the lead and supporting characters are now in, are now in middle school. Then, one day, hindi mahanap ni Romain si Luke. You know, hinahanap niya kila Gakoto, kila, kila Roa, uh, kila kila asa na even well kahit si Tiger hinahanap si Luke ayun nakita sa isang nakita sa bubungan sa, sa rooftop uli ng school siguro doon na, 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 na ni Tiger pero uh, in in her usual Roman way Roman reminds Luke na oy may school pa tayo alika na <laughs> pero ayaw pumasok si si Luke he is <laughs> Ay, nako. Talagang, talagang ang taas ng pride ng mukong na to eh. Wala tayong magagawa. But he is a lead character. Well, inamin naman ni ni, uh, ni Luke that he is still smarting from his loss to Yuga. At this point, Yuga has been missing for two years. Ito pa yung nalala. Ito pa yung nalala ni Luke yung pagkatalo niya kay Yuga. Ano ba? In usual big sister fashion, sinabi na lang ni Tiger na I don't think you have the guts to face him again. But she's got a point. Kasi hawak-hawak pa rin pala ni Luke yung yung Seven Road Magician ni ni uh, ni Yuga. Then may nakita sa monitors ng uh, ng ng mga ng gossip of the gossip links are yeah, they're all grown up. Nakita nila na parang merong faint signal coming from coming from the Go Rush, yung yung spaceship na sinakyan nila to um to board the Rush Dual Robo. So takbo na yung ano? Takbo na ang Team Seven si Kakoto, Romin at si Luke. Yung tinatawag nilang bike path biglang umangat na ganun. Well, ni region ni region na sila ni Neil. Sinabi lang niya, I carved out this um this separate road for you guys. Kaya asan ko well, in essence sinabi niya, asahan niyo, wala kayong ma-encounter na traffic. <laughs> well, he's got a point kasi elevated road na. All the characters that were involved with Team 7 they're just looking up the sky. Final scene. Ayun na. 
confirm it's the go rush re-entering the atmosphere and Yuga now looks like he now looks like Otis we're going to explain this finale to the best of our abilities of course critics of style guys face the duel between Yuga and Luke well, had a slow and excruciating one say laban ng mga laban ng, laban ng mga best friend to from the point na um, itinaboy na ni Yuga si Luke through that uh, yung into space this is where the pacing picked up so siyempre well Yuga chose to do this alone again until he faced until na na-resolve na ang laban na ni, ni Otis yeah it was it was fast paced and a bit excruciating well do I have complaints about the pacing no because I somehow had those um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains feels in this finale. Kasi halos ganito yung ano eh. Halos ganito yung naramdaman ko when the finale, when, when the finale of Vrains uh, ended. Pero unlike there, uh, it has been three months and the main protag, si Yusuko, is still missing. Hindi pa nagpapakita sa kahit sino sa mga lead characters. But here, there's a good chance na uh, uh, magbalik si Yuga. Nonetheless, no complaints about the pacing. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when was when um, Yuga sent Luke back into space while, while, their, while their duel is ongoing. Bahay ko din ako na gear shift ito. Kasi, well, if you if you get it from sort of an authority standpoint, Yuga is in control of the Rush Duel Robo. So, siguro pinagbigyan lang niya kaibigan niya rito and well, he just said that I finally beaten Luke. I look back at this uh, at this gear shift right now. This gear shift triggered the finale. Second gear shift was when yeah, knowing very well that yung the trap called Perfect Sevens will win him the duel and be, sinubukan pa siyang i-bluff ni, ano eh, ni, ni Otis because of the uh, of that loophole regarding his ID card na iniwan niya kay ano yung iniwan niya kay uh, kay Luke well Yuga didn't expect that because he had another plan to send both the Otis and Rustuel Robos into hyperspace. But at what expense? Right? Final gear shift was when yeah, the final scene where everyone was looking up at the, looking up at the sky just waiting for Yuga's re Yuga to return. And Yuga was Yuga was definitely aboard the um the Go Rush. No brain of a gear shift there. Pero, that gear shift also left me, uh, also left a question in me. Si Yuga ba talaga to? Wow, that gear shift made me think. Alright, I gotta tell you. It's probably the most, the most puzzling gear shift of, yeah, this entire anime. Is Yuga actually returning or is it actually Otis? So, we may never know. So these three gear shifts that I saw, panorin nyo lang ang tatlong gear shift na to magigets nyo na ang finale. Power tip. Plot wise, um, wala eh. Not even an explainer sequence. Kaya, malinis ang plot mga ka-lifestyle Patreon. If the plot were this clean, we wouldn't be um, wondering what happened to both Yuga and Otis in the two years they've been in space. O nga, natalo nga ni Yuga uli si Otis. But, 
they were both locked in hyperspace where yeah in theoretically time stands still Paro ba sila nakalabas or isa lang sa kanila? That's what this clean plot will, uh, will make you ask. So, wow. There's a lot of room for, there's a lot of room there for, um, for even, a, for an OVA or, or even a movie. There's a lot of room there. Okay. So, pace, flow, and plot they all came together for this Yu-Gi-Oh! finale, folks. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s. I never thought I would be saying this. Finale! 92 episodes. <laughs> um, Two thumbs up. Bakit? Mainly because of the aftermath. Tignan nyo. All the lead characters are middle schoolers. Si Mimi, ang executive vice president ngayon ng GOHA, ng GOHA Corp. Of course, uh, the president's siblings are there. All six of them. And everyone is waiting for you, awaiting Yuga's return. Most especially ang nanay niya. Of course. And Based on the final scene, parang... Ito na ba si Yuga? Why is he dressed like... Why is he wearing Otis' mask? Pero hindi. Halatang si Yuga. But, bakit nasuot ang, hel ang helmet ni Otis? Did something happen in hyperspace that... Um, that made him uh, look this way na? Kasi, pag sinabi ng hyperspace, this is a total a total unknown in the world of science. Pero, some experts say that when you're in hyperspace, I've been saying this quite a few times already in this review, mga ka-lifestyle, time stands still. Kung baga, you can do anything you want. Even, um, Rework your own identity. So wow. Yeah, well, it's 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 the main reason why I I gave this finale the two thumbs up. Talagang mapapa isip kaya. Um, Yuga took the battle, took the duel to hyperspace para magkaroon man siya ng kahit na nung ad, para magkaroon man siya ng konting advantage kay Otis. So. Yeah, you got took to you got took to um took a little took it a little too far. So maybe it's probably uh what he got by beating Otis, pero it's up in the air, right? But for now, thank you, Studio Bridge, for uh, for giving us a really good Yu-Gi-Oh series. One of the best fan service, well, well, probably the best fan service anime since Gintama. Oh, I've been saying this since um, since the beginning of since probably uh, the middle of season two. Nah, well, if you miss Gintama, you better watch Yu-Gi-Oh Sevens, because there are fan service moments dito. Especially if you're a long time Yu-Gi-Oh fan like me, babubusuka. So again, thank you, Bridge, for giving us Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. And, well, for somehow not disappointing most Yu-Gi-Oh! fans. Right? And of course, there's, um, well, why should we, why should we, um, miss Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens when there's still the Shaman King reboot? Diba? Bridge din ito, akala nyo ba, mga lifestyle So, Bridge is not done with us yet. It's not done with us anime fans yet because the Shaman King reboot is yet to uh, is yet to end, and well, it's now down to its probably four or five. Yeah, probably it's four final episodes. So yeah, we're not gonna miss Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens right now.
बहुत अगेन कोनामी बहुत नॉट अगेन कोनामी थैंक यू फॉर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द रश डूल फॉर्मेट इट्स आल्सो अ वे ऑफ अम फॉर अस ओसीजी प्लेयर्स टू अम टू गेट अ क्विक प्रैक्टिस टू गेट ए अम टू गेट अ क्विक फील ऑफ व्हाट ऑफ व्हाट वी अम of what of what decks will we we would be using in tournaments official tournaments of course so maganda rin yung naging epekto ng rush dual format in the in the card game itself kaya thank you konami again thank you bridge for yugio 7s so again yeah for the probably for the final time yugio 7s finale two thumbs up another two thumbs up oh Probably for the final time for sevens. Mahalas na. Ang ano? Pwede kawi OVA kasi may mga tanong na dapat sa kudine. So Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, chill lang. More finales to come. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one. Yano Palau.